Hi, Ian Varney here of the Visible Body Education Team. And today, we're going to take a look at a few of the accessibility and preference settings in Human Anatomy Atlas. On any screen, you can find your settings menu. First up, we have the background. Here you can choose from three different colors to suit whatever light you find yourself in. I like using the black background when I'm in a low light setting, because it's easier on my eyes. The visible body has complete female and male anatomy models. Here, I'll set it to female, and you can see it's a complete human body with vasculature, nerves, and organs. On mobile, we have gestures. Sometimes with an app, it's hard to tell just where I'm tapping. Or if I'm giving a lecture or presentation, it helps to show just what I'm clicking on to my audience. This feature shows a little dot or a bubble. I like to just leave this one on. Another feature we have is closed captioning. If your Visible Body app has animations, this feature will be available and will turn on subtitles for all video audio. These are turned on by default in languages other than English. Next is the frames per second option on iPhone and iPad. This is purely a preference thing, and for users who may have a sensitivity to fast or jerky motions. This increases the FPS to 60 for smoother visuals throughout the app, though it does tend to use more battery. The app by default is set to only 30 frames per second. You can also change the font size to make the text appear larger or smaller. Here we have the language selector. Visible body apps support up to seven languages. For example, here I can go to Spanish. And if I'm in a point of care situation, and I need to show the name or definition of a structure in a different language, I can quickly come here and pick the salivary gland to see what it is in Spanish. On Startup is a preference for if you'd like to have the app start back up at the main menu each time you open it, or resume from where you just left off, or have the app ask you each time it's opened. I usually like to have a fresh start each time I open the app, so I opt for Start New Session. Next is the Tags feature in the app. A lot of customers asked for this. It used to be that if you wanted to tag something and show the name, it always showed up in this box, but instructors said it would be really useful if you were able to hide the text and use it for quizzing. And that's just what this option does here. You get the same tags, but now you have an instant worksheet. So I can say, what is this highlighted in blue? And then you can say, well that's the salivary gland. The professor can either do this at the beginning of class, projecting it up on a screen, or students can take a screenshot, print it out, and make some flashcards. If you use our apps in a web browser, you can also choose between using the highest quality models or turning down the quality so that the app loads faster and performs better. That's all we have for now. And as always, if there's any other features you'd like to see, you can send in suggestions to support at visiblebody.com. Thank you.